Good morning. Hello. Today is sadly our last day in the Rockies. So we are going to take in the mountains around us and go for a nice breakfast in Camor because we haven't really checked out Camor. And that's where Kate works. Yeah, she's a chef there. At so. the Summit Cafe. Yeah. And unfortunately we have to leave this area, go through Calgary down into the prairies. Because we're on our way home. Is it that way, Dev? I don't know. Yeah, it's that way. The cafe's there. Oh. Hi, we're Keith and Dev. This past year we started a YouTube channel to make the most of each day. Most recently, we have converted a 2011 Dodge Caravan and have been traveling across Canada from Ontario all the way to BC. Subscribe to follow along. What a bright and sunny day. We're at Summit Cafe and very excited for breakfast. Kate helped us decide what we're going to order because it took us there's a long time. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing options. We're very excited. This is our pet giraffe for the time being. When our food's ready, they'll bring it to us with this giraffe. We're the giraffe couple. We're the giraffe couple. We moved into the shade. It was very hot over there. <laughs> Wait till you see what's inside. Ready? Wow. Yeah, like, oh my god. What? Definitely some heft. Boom. Burrito. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm like, I just can't. I think I might eat the whole thing right now. I can't stop. This is the ideal breakfast combination. Just perfect. That's okay. Wow. That was literally the best breakfast I've ever had. That's like what you want when you get a breakfast. Like, I, I just have no words. If you're in Canmore, come to the Summit Cafe. It's only open till 1.30 in the afternoon, but it's so good. Kate, it's amazing. Thank you so much for She still has half us. of her plate left, yeah, and I have to watch her eat it. We're back on the road. What do you mean we're leaving the mountains? So, I'm gonna take as many videos as I can, so enjoy some driving mountain shots, everyone. I'm just gonna say, I know you've just been watching mountains, but they're slowly getting rounder, they're slowly yeah. disappearing. Yeah. Oh. I missed them all dogs. I missed them already. Just like that, we're out of the mountains. So we're driving an hour to Calgary and then we got groceries. We're back to the living out of the van, putting everything in its bag in the car. Yeah, and sorting everything. Look at this sandwich I got. Oh my, this will feed me for a day. <laughs> Time to pack up, this is always the hardest part. And then we go to the shell, and then we get gas, we get our air miles, we do our whole thing, and then we leave and it's nighttime. <laughs> more money. More gas. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Don't do that to me, I lose things, and I thought it was gonna be my <laughs> okay, back on the road. It's 4.30, so actually we're ahead of when I thought we would be leaving at. We're gonna hop back on the road and try and get all the way to Swift Current. If we only make it to Medicine Hat, we only make it to Medicine Hat, but that's okay. We've given ourselves enough time on the way back to kind of be a bit easy with our, our days. We're waiting in traffic to get to the Trans Canada, but we treated ourselves at the grocery store. You just sprayed me with that. And a kombucha. <laughs> we treated ourselves and got ourselves a can of kombucha. Yay! Well, one each. Oh, wow, this is good. Yeah, and Keith got me, he picked mine out, and it was just what I wanted. It's ginger lemon. So I'm gonna get Devin. mine out too. I know her. Back on the road, but it's slow moving. Calgary, there's a lot of traffic on this time. I, had, I got peach, if you were wondering. <laughs> So 
this is literally what a quarter of your whole sandwich you want? Yep. Look how big that thing is. This is very nice. Okay, here we go. Okay. I feel like I feel like Joey from Friends. Good. Mm. Sandwich? Good. Closely in the distance. Yeah, you can see Thunder Bay. <laughs> he's literally been sitting like that for the last half an hour while he's driving. How many hours? It hasn't even been that many hours of driving. He's losing it. You see cows. Cows and grain. I don't know what like what footage we got there, but as we were pulling back onto the highway, jeez, it was like crazy just pulling back onto the road. Um, we saw Keith saw the whole thing. I only saw the tail end of it, but we literally saw a whole car like roll multiple just, times. Just like three times tumble. I think a, a, maybe the belt pops, the tire pops, something. But but it just started tumbling, and there was nothing. This this is flat. There was no median. Not another car involved. There was no other car, which is good. But this this truck with three passengers just started rolling in front of us. Like rolling multiple times. Obviously, like 100 meters from us. Yeah, like we um, were. Yeah. We were uh, on the on ramp still. Uh, it was crazy, but was luckily scary. there's like a lot of people on site already. And Everybody, as soon as we saw the car flip, like like we, we didn't even have time to get to the scene before no, people before were there people, already. And as soon as it finished rolling, all three, three passengers got out up. walking. One of them is fine and talking to everyone, probably has a bit of shock, but she seems to be okay. And the other two, I think they were slightly injured. One of them had a head head injury, um, and the other one seemed to be bleeding too, but they were with blankets being treated. I mean, it's just the craziest thing. People called 911. Um, you called, right? Yeah, and but somebody else had already called, so it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was... I just don't have words. It was very it's scary like, to see. You know, if you're in that situation and you're tumbling, oh my god, it's just like. But luckily, that's a everybody lot. was okay, and there are so many good people in the world. Like literally, we saw it happen, and before we could even get to the scene, there were people there. There's people helping out. People were bringing blankets, and everybody's was putting in their first aid kits. Yeah, so like, like at least like five five cars were there before were there. we were there. Um, so we ended up leaving because we were doing. We, we weren't able to help out. It was causing more of a crowd and you don't want a crowd um, in an accident. But it is amazing how great people are. And luckily all three of them were out of the vehicle and okay. But it was just, it was a shock for today for sure. Yeah. We made it to Walmart. We are here, it's 10.30, but Keith was MVP and drove the whole way. MVP, baby. And I got a whole video edited, start to finish. Started it today, finished it today. So that's success. We started mm -hmm. in the mountains, ended in the prairies. And it really in the middle of the prairie. Swift Current is like the middle of <laughs> Saskatchewan in the middle of nowhere. Classic Canada. Yeah, anyway. yeah, we saw some crazy stuff too, but it was a good day. Yes, thank you so much for watching and See you tomorrow for tomorrow. <laughs>
and I'm going to finish my breakfast. Don't put that in my face, Dad. It's not fair. It's not fair. Keith, you, Keith literally bought a sandwich that's like bigger than both of our faces, so. We have a tiny face, though. Tiny little devil face.